how to decide whether to launch an online course or a small group program or a membership like a Patreon where you just create content and people pay you like five bucks, 10 bucks a month to kind of get some, maybe some extra access to some content. All right. So if you aren't sure about this, it, my default answer is you should probably launch a small group program. And the reason why is because, uh, two reasons why. One is let's talk about the the, the hierarchy of these things, okay? So um, essential, I will keep it real simple for you from, from years of experience having launched all of these different things and watched many people do it. So a Patreon type thing, or like YouTube is now uh, allowing creators to take money through the YouTube system and you could subscribe to a YouTuber, you know? So whether it's YouTube subscriptions or Patreon, I think Instagram is doing something like that too. And maybe TikTok will, but um, maybe TikTok already has, I'm not this familiar, but anyway, so there's membership at the bottom, which requires, right? A lot because, okay. So this is the hierarchy in terms of price and numbers of people. So membership is at the bottom that requires the most people to earn a living wage because it's also the lowest cost, right? When you when you go to Patreon to support someone, you're not thinking, great, I'm going to pay them $300 a month. Probably not. You're probably thinking, okay, you know, you make Patreon, oh, even $3 a month, right? There's tiers of like, you know, you know, um, $1 a month, you know, $1 a month to like $3 to like $10 to, you know, $30 and maybe $100 or something. And it's, but usually not more than that, but usually most Patreons like, okay, a couple bucks a month to kind of support this YouTuber or this blogger or some of this podcast or something. So membership takes takes the least amount of money per person and therefore it takes a lot of people for, for it to be just worth your while handling the logistics of it. I mean, because anything you launch, there are logistics, like you have to make sure the systems are set up properly and you're you know responding to customer service requests and all this stuff. Like, like you don't want three people paying you three dollars a month you're earning less than ten dollars a month and you have to like respond like make sure you post content there and it's like it's a ha kind of a hassle when it's so few people paying you so little so it's like a membership really is better when you already have quite a large warm audience you're like okay i'm going to announce this thing and probably 100 people are going to sign up at you know even if they sign up at a dollar three dollars a month it's going to be worth yeah 100 bucks 300 bucks a month i'm receiving total i'm it's still worth it for me to post something there and you know maybe do a special live call just for them or something like that so i really think membership should be launched for most of us should be launched last because come on the systems you have to set up the ongoing maintenance you just don't want to like yeah you want you want it's going to be yeah have you have enough people sign up and probably at low, at low 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 prices that's what membership typically is expected as and then you've got the middle one which is a group program of some kind whether it's a small you, know, you could you could say it's the membership is you know, hopefully you have hundreds of members or thousands of members at some point and then a group program you know you could you could say you could have different layers of the cake you could have like a group a large group program of 150 people or 500 people there's group programs i've seen of a thousand people um and they're paying 50 100 150 a month kind of thing or more but anyway so larger group program and a small group program would be like three people five people ten people sometimes sometimes people call this a mastermind program or a you know like like a women's circle some people form a women's circle of like five seven ten women or something like that or men's circle or men's group so um, so there's large group programs, there's small group programs. So you can see as we go up this, uh, sorry, I forgot I forgot to add um, one layer of the cake. So there's membership. And then besides that, there's online courses that you sell that are do it yourself. Like you, you maybe pre-record it or you could record it live and you sell it at anywhere, you know, online courses sell anywhere between, you know, a few dozen dollars, like 50 bucks all the way to several hundred dollars, usually something like that. Sometimes there's more, more money. And less. anyway, so online courses, do it yourself, like as many people buy it as you want, like people, there could be several hundred people buy it, or several thousand people buy it, it doesn't really cost you any more time, because you've already recorded it. And you're selling it, sure, you might field some questions, but that's online course. Um, and as I'm talking this through, I realize, mm, yeah. So, so yes, that's what I want to, the membership and an online course uh, requires not as large of an audience as a membership to launch properly, but it requires some of somewhat of a large audience so that it, it's worth your while to have to record it and, and sell it. 
And then, and then there's the, the, the group programs of whatever, whatever varying size you, you, you want. Um, you could say that a large group program might be between membership and online course. There might be a large group program because you need enough people to fill a large group. Um, warm enough in an online course even if 10 people bought it you might be happy to record it right and then the small group program is above the online course which is um you know like i said it, the reason why i recommend starting you know and then above the small group program is one-on-one -on -one services right so so you know it's like if you don't know which one you should launch you should always start at the top to say well one-on-one -on -one, because I can customize my presence, advice, solutions, homework, guidance to this one person. I know their situation. I can find out about their situation. And, and anyway, so that's, and it's also easier to recruit one-on-one -on -one clients than to fill a large group program or something like that. Cause it's like, you're talking to one person at a time. You're saying, oh, okay, I can help you with this, the tailoring the service to your, to, 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 to fit you and even tailoring the price perhaps to fit you know what what you can pay and then therefore what i offer that kind of thing okay and so the small group therefore if, if you're talking besides one-on-one -on -one, you want to launch something group wise i would say small group because then you could still recruit each person at a time say hey i'm forming a group of three people five people ten people i'm forming a group of 12 people or whatever it may be and I thought of this group, and when I was thinking of who those five, seven, ten people are, whatever number you want to name, I thought of you as one of them. And that you really did. You really thought of okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, recruit, you know, Shweta and Mike and Pam into this group. And so as I'm designing the group, I'm thinking of them and what their needs are and what their you know, uh, style is and how they mesh together, et cetera, et cetera. So, so yeah. So it's like, I thought about you as I, uh, let me know if you think this is interesting, right? Like, let me know if you want to talk about it. And I'm really excited about it because this is the kind of work that I've seen helps a lot of people with these kinds of issues or these kinds of goals or whatever. So yes, I think small group is a great one to start with because if you're not doing one-on-one -on -one recruitment, maybe you're moving beyond that one small group. Okay. Easier to recruit, easier to, to fill, and easier to customize and, and really design to make it impactful. And then after the small group, um, you get you have a good experience with it. Then you can think, well, maybe this could become an online course because I've now you know taught things or tailored things to what the group members need. Now, online course. And after an online course, then you could start thinking about building a large group program that contains several online courses, et cetera. So I hope this is helpful as a way to think through, well, which one should I decide on?